Welcome to Moortown, Ontario for another game between the Moortown Novice Rep Team and the Mount Bridges Cougars. It's 11.55 local time here in beautiful Moortown, Ontario. Our hometown heroes are about to uh, join the ice, take the ice, as they're coming out of their dressing room and they'll be taking the far ice down away from our cameras. And here comes Gary Bennett. Captain Caleb O'Neill giving them a whole fist bump as they all come out on the ice. Here they come. Warming up and around they go. We're up here in Moortown, rink number one in the gondola on the windows overlooking the rink today. We finally have some Wi-Fi at home, which is great news for our periscoping endeavor. Missy Routley will be tweeting the game. And we will make sure that we bring you all the action today via the St. Clair Township Wi-Fi at the Moortown Sports Complex. The team is just warming up, waiting for the Mount Bridges Cougars to awake from their slumber and take to the ice. We've got lots of parents helping out, making this thing happen today. Always a big shout out to all the volunteers and all the people who make it happen behind the scenes. We've got Spencer Delgetti running the score clock and Mike McLaughlin. He's on the score sheet today. Here come your referees to get things started. And the three minute warm up has begun and Mountain Bridges has emerged from their slumber and they're on the ice now warming up as well. We've also got Darcy Bennett working as our hockey mom, Ken O'Neill, parent rep, liaison. Of course, Missy Routley, our social media coordinator and chief social media operator. On the, on the managerial front, we have Kristen Campbell, keeping things organized, keeping everybody in the right place at the right time. As well as we've got lots of folks on the bench helping that go well. Tate Ross, Ryan Barnes, Mark McCabe and our head coach, Jason Bordage. And lots of little things happening as well with all the parents helping out. We've got the Hogan family making sure we've got Gatorade in the dressing room. The Whitmarshes keeping the water bottles full. It just goes on and on and on as everyone keeps contributing to keep this team going. We appreciate all the efforts that all the parents do and all the volunteers do to make sure we have a fun season for this novice rep team out of Moortown. The Flags. We've got a minute 25 left in the warm-ups. The referees are talking about the score sheet with the benches, making sure everything's as it should be. The horseshoe is well in effect at this point. When last we saw our heroes take the ice, they dropped a 4-3 decision, but a good game by our Moortown Junior Flags to these Mount Bridges Cougars. This is the OMHA Playdowns, the third game for Moortown in this Playdown series. They do a home-and-home -home versus a several teams. Moortown fought back from a two-goal deficit early in the game on Thursday night. Tied it up, 3-3. Surrendered that the winning goal to Mount Bridges in the third period, but had several chances to even the score as things went on, as that game went on. Lots of resiliency, lots of toughness, lots of stick to -itiveness. Is that a word? We just made it up with 13 folks.
and the teams take to their benches to get a sense of what's going on and what's the plan for today. somebody's watching can you just let me know if we're loud and clear on periscope if everything's working all right just type a comment in we'd appreciate that here comes the more town flags as they come around the net mount bridges wakes from their slumber and they come out as well they'll be shaking hands kissing babies the political event of the handshake at welcome spot can you just make sure that i'm loud and clear on periscope just type a comment in we'd appreciate that so i think things are working well here folks on the periscope. And we're lined up to begin the game. It's 12.02 in Moortown, and we've got the Rosiel line out with Austin Delgetti on the near boards, Dugo Routley on the far boards. In the back, we've got Drayson Campbell and Lake Barnes on the far D. Grayson Campbell gives chase, Blake Barnes goes back as well, and he'll put his stick on that puck, and he'll wheel around the net and look for the breakout to Dougal Rowley. Up on the board, not quite out, as Mount Bridges keeps it in, throws it back toward the net. It's wide of the net, and it's 9 minutes, 32 seconds left in the first period of play as Moortown tries to clear it out, not quite out, it's 0-0 so far. Mount Bridges now breaks, uh, Moortown now breaks it out past Mount Bridges. Caleb Rosillo tries to bring it in and can't do it on that little rush. Grayson Campbell, he battles against the boards. Mount Bridges gives and goes. Shot. Gary Bennett stands tall with a big save. 9.07 left in the first period of play. 0-0 zero, zero is the score as Gary Bennett freezes that puck to keep a face off deep. In the Moortown end, we've got the O'Neill line coming out. Drew O'Neill centering on the near side will be Liam Hazard. On the far side, Lucas Ross. Braden Hogan will be the near D. Nolan Bordage will be the far D. Lucas Ross looks to break it out, and he's broken through. Nolan Bordage, he's going to rush up the side. They've brought it in. They've started controlling the other team. The puck's thrown back up to Lucas Ross. He takes a look just outside the Moortown end. 0-0 zero, zero is the score here in the first period of play. Early goings here. We got Braden Hogan on D. Charlie McLaughlin. Reed Whitmarsh. Nolan Bordage. Mount Bridges takes and turns around the net. Charlie McLaughlin gives chase. He's being a little pesky there. Three. And there's going to be a five on three as Nolan Bordage takes down a Cougar coming into that net. Two minutes. On the penalty to Nolan Bordage. 137 left on the penalty to Drew O'Neill. We've lost Nolan and Drew to begin this game with a hook. 813 left in the first period of play. 0-0 zero, zero is the score. We've got five on three happening. An advantage for Mount Bridges. Charlie stays out there. Blake Barnes stays out. Grayson Campbell's out there as well, and he puts a stick on it. That's a good little play. Oh, and it's off the crossbar and wide. 7.54 left in this first period of play. 0-0 zero, zero the score, but there's a two-man disadvantage for Moortown at this point. Moortown tries to bring it out and wrap it around. Nothing doing there for the Mount Bridges Cougars. The Cougars try to throw it, and it goes wide of the net. One minute left in this two-man disadvantage for, Mount, for Moortown as... Charlie can get it to the line, not quite out. He gives it a good try. Drayson Campbell throws it to Charlie. Charlie to the line, not out. Backhands it back in. Drayson Campbell, he's got some ice, and he does. He scoots it out to center ice, and then he puts the brakes on. Holden Petrie shifts off. Charlie McLaughlin. Mount Bridges pushes again. 
Caleb Brazil out on defense now as well. And we've got in tight, nicely done by Gary Bennett, shutting the door. 30 seconds left in this two-man disadvantage. It's right in front, and they score. Mount Bridges puts one home. Drew O'Neill will re-enter the ice. It's 1-0 Mount Bridges with 6.58 left in the first period of play. Drew O'Neill will stay on the ice. Keller Brazil, Drayson Campbell, Holden Petrie. Drew takes and throws it deep. He dishes it deep. That's a good deal as 40 seconds are left in this one-man disadvantage now for Moortown. The puck here on the near boards. Moortown tries to break out. Keller Brazil looking closely. Drayson Campbell on that. He takes and looks and throws it down the ice. 24 seconds left as Mount Bridges goes and gathers that puck. Holden Petrie, he takes a look. Dave Routley's joined. Welcome, Dave. Please keep me informed if we're doing all right here on the Periscope. And Drayson Campbell throws it back in. We're off size, but that's okay as it's four seconds left on this disadvantage. 2 1 6 13 in the first period of play. That's left, and we're now all even again. 1 0. Mountain Bridges edging more town at this point. Drayson Campbell throws it into the far boards, the far corner. Drayson looks for a change and he gets one. Drew goes off. That was Drew, not Drayson. It's Drayson, he provides some pressure there. Austin Delgetti's on. Caleb, Holden, Nolan, and Braden. Grayson did get his change there. And we got another penalty on Moortown. And it'll be 5.34 left in the first period with Caleb Rozeal likely going to the box. Moortown has played most of this game shorthanded, and that is a challenge. Two minutes on the penalty right now, 5.34. It's 1-0 Mountain Bridges leading. Braden Hogan back. Nolan Burdage gets in front. Braden Hogan, he fires it off the boards, not quite out. Goes around the net. Nolan takes a look, tries to reverse course. Mount Bridges, they've got something doing in front. Tries to slide it through, nothing there. And that'll be Austin Delgetti with the big clear all the way down the ice with five minutes left in this first period of play. One minute, 30 seconds left. In the penalty. Yes, Dave, we picked up where we left off in Mountain Bridges. Looks like another training game, but it's all good as 4.50 is left in that first period. We're hoping our boys can come back like they did in Mountain Bridges. They stuck in there, and here comes Drew O'Neill on the far boards. Nolan Bordage, he takes a look, and he's going to try the carry. He's hauled down, but the hands stay down with the men in black and white. Drew O'Neill, he takes a look at that one and loses his footing on that spin move. Put in and he does with 40 seconds left in this. Penalty to Moortown. 4-10 left in the first period of play. 1-0. Mount Bridges leading Moortown. Caleb Brazil in for 30 seconds or less as we go on here. And the puck squirts out and past the pinching D as Dougal Routley takes a, takes a run at this. Nice pressure. Lucas Ross is out there. Dougal Routley, Blake Barnes, and Drayson Campbell providing the defensive support. Ten seconds left on this. Power play for Mountain Bridges. We're clearing that puck as the penalty expires. 30 left in the first period of play. 1-0 Mountain Bridges leading. Your hometown heroes, Moortown. So far, we're penalty count is 3-0 for Mount Bridges. Seems to be the common theme with this Mount Bridges team. Liam takes and looks. He's trying to dig it in. Tries to dig it in more. Let's see. Blake Barnes takes it. He throws it off the board, trying to get Lucas Ross. Just a step behind him. Under three minutes here in the... Period. Down goes Drayson Campbell. No call on the play. Drayson Campbell 
Watches as Caleb Roziel throws that out to Lucas Ross. Blake Barnes takes a look. He throws it cross ice. Just misses two fellas. And it's offsides. The refs got that one right with 2.35 left in the first period of play. Offside by a country mile. Mount Bridges did. one nothing. They are winning here in the first period of play. 2.35 left. Charlie McLaughlin out there with Holden Petrie and Reed Whitmarsh. Holden Petrie goes hard to the boards. He takes it in on the far side. That's right, no more penalties, says the O'Neill crew watching at home. Braden Hogan from the point. Holden Petrie tips it and it's wide. Reed Whitmarsh is shape call on that play. We'll check on Hogan. He goes back as with Holden Petrie. Out to Austin Delgetti. Austin Delgetti skates with it. He keeps going. He's got Charlie McLaughlin with him and Holden Petrie. Throws it to Holden Petrie over his stick. A bouncing puck over the stick. Charlie McLaughlin goes in. Hard, using good leverage. Gary fighting to get that puck out of there. Good job by Gary, not giving up. Good job as Holden throws it down. We got a hand up for icing. Sounds like the whistles will be for icing deep in the Moortown zone this next faceoff with 104 left in the first period of play. Zero to one. The visitors are leading your hometown Moortown flags. Back to the point. Mount Bridges loads and shoots. It's Caleb with Dougal Routley. Austin Delgetti. Austin Heath takes a look at that one around center. The shot. Gary Bennett covers up. Well done with 45 seconds left in this first period of play. Gary with a big save here. one nothing. Moortown is trailing the Mount Bridges Cougars. The face-off face -off will be deep in the Moortown end. The shot from the blue line, Gary Bennett, he covers it. Awful hard to the net there, but there will be no call on Mount Bridges today. 40.4 seconds to go. Another face-off deep in the Moortown end. The goalie gets run there, but nothing's going to be done by the boys in black and white today. So we'll see what happens next as we've got Caleb out there with Austin and Drew. 30 seconds left in this period. Blake throws it around the boards, past Drayson up to Austin. Austin hit from behind. He goes down, nothing. Taylor Brazil, he provides some pressure at the point, goes back into the deep corner. Austin Delgetti goes back to help. So does Caleb. Caleb takes. He looks. He cuts through. He goes around the back end of that Mount Bridges Cougar. And here he comes up through center ice, throws it to Austin Delgetti. Nice little play, nice little pass. No icing on this one as Austin Delgetti takes it behind the net. Goes out. Drew O'Neill. And the period expires as Moortown looks to make a scoring chance happen. 1 0 Mount Bridges. Leading more town here. On Thursday night, our more town novice rep team battled back from a two-goal deficit. They've got a one-goal deficit right now here after one, and we'll see what happens in the second period of play. Ten minutes on the, on the clock, and they gather around as Coach Jason Bordage will give them some instructions. What he's looking for. They'll be switching ends here, attacking the far net, defending the near net. Gary Bennett comes into our camera range, taking a stroll to his net. We've got O'Neill out there at centering a line with Lucas Ross on the near boards, Hazard on the far boards, Braden Hogan on the far D, and Nolan Bordage on the near D. Braden Hogan looks. 
They're not going to call that icing. And we got a little rush here. Nolan Burdage back. It's a two on one, and they can't pass it across to the other Cougars. It's one nothing. Mountain Bridge is leading Moortown. It's behind the net. Goes on the far. It's in front. Nolan Burdage, he's going to try to bring it out. Throws it up to Hazard, who tips it forward to Ross. Ross takes a look. He brings it in. They're all on sides as Drew O'Neill battles on those near boards in the far end. They throw it around the ice, and it's kept in by Braden Hogan. And it's thrown in. Drew and Hazard. Back to Braden Hogan, who looks. Throws it high off the far boards, and around the net it goes. Lucas Ross, he's there to greet that Mountain Bridges player. Drew O'Neill looking, trying to get Hazard. Hazard stretches out, can't quite get that puck on his stick. They're going to do a quick change there, Lucas Ross. Liam Hazard off, Reed Whitmarsh back on, Holden Petrie on, and Charlie McLaughlin. Good news seeing Reed Whitmarsh back on. We've got an icing call, and it'll be a face-off deep in the Moortown end. 8.32 left here in the second period of play. one nothing. Mount Bridges' edging Moortown. Big battle down in the far end. Mount Bridges had iced that puck. It just squeaks out. And Holden Petrie tries to take it. Let's go, says the O'Neill clan. Let's go, boys. And we're hoping that we can turn this thing around. There's, they've sustained a little bit of pressure this time, and now they're breaking out those Cougars. And they bring it on in. That seemed a bit offside to me, but the referee said maybe not. Puck got caught up in that referee skate as they throw it around the net. Behind Gary Bennett. Goes out front. The throw right on the doorstep. And it's cleared out. Reed Whitmarsh, he digs it off the boards and throws it up along the boards. Blake Barnes provides pressure. Big job by Gary Bennett standing tall as they battle behind the net. He closes off the near post. Holden Petrie, he's pushed hard from behind. Nothing doing on that. And it's still in the Moortown end. They're looking to get this out. Drayson Campbell takes a spin as, her, as the Mount Bridges Cougars are making a big change. Goes on the near boards. Not out. Goes around. Drayson Campbell again. Provides some support. Now Blake Barnes, he's going to take a crack at it. Under seven minutes of the second period of play, Moortown is losing by one right now. one nothing to Mount Bridges. They're calling that no icing right now. They waved it off, those boys in black and white. And there's wholesale changes everywhere as Kayla Roziel takes it, shoots on the net, and it's frozen by the Mount Bridges goalie. 640 left, and the steel line comes out with Austin Delgetti on the far boards, Dougal Routley on the near boards, Nolan Bordage on the near defense, and Braden Hogan on the far D. The face-off is done, and now they dig for it on those far boards. Mount Bridges looks to break this out. Dougal Routley provides some big-time pressure. Disrupting that breakout. Here comes Austin Delgetti on the far wing. Tries to throw it in, nothing doing. Off a shin pad, keeps going. He turns and spins and goes. Goes back to Braden Hogan. He loads, shoots through traffic to Dougal Rutley through the blue ice. Nothing doing there. Austin Delgetti. He provides some support. Goes back around. Braden Hogan, he's going to pinch and throws it to the net. Just wide of the net. And it goes around to the other corner. Dougal Rutley centering it just behind Caleb Rosio. Mount Bridges, they come in. Braden Hogan takes a look. Now Caleb, he's got a man with him. And that's Lucas Ross. 
Caleb loads, throws it across to Lucas. Lucas tips, shoots. It's still free. Nolan, he throws it, shoots. It's still free in front of the net. Lucas shoots. It's still free in front of the net. Austin, he's tripped up and he goes for it. Oh, Caleb Rosio, he tries. Lucas is slew-footed back behind the net and nothing doing there. It gets out and down and all the way down the ice as it'll be a icing on Mount Bridges. Nice little pressure by Moortown. Under five minutes to go in the second period of play. one nothing Mount Bridges edging your hometown heroes. Moortown Junior Flags. Here comes the Dronia line. With a face-off deep in the Mount Bridges end, Lucas Ross on right wing. Drew O'Neill centering, Liam Hazard on left. Lucas right in the mix there. Drew keeps going. He keeps digging. And he's rewarded as he keeps that puck in. Now Lucas, he digs. Goes in front of a bunch of skates and just out of the reach of Hazard. And here comes Mount Bridges as they break it out with 4.30 left in the... Second period, Drew O'Neill provides some pesky relief here for our Mount, our Moortown Novice Rep team. Drew, he keeps digging. Right to the boards. Lucas Ross backhands it. Hazard takes a swipe, can't quite get that puck to stick on his stick as Mount Bridges turns it the other way. Off the side of the net, Gary Bennett. Cuts down the wraparound edge as there goes Drayson Campbell. He's beating him. He's got Hazard with him. He throws it to the net. It's wide. Hazard tips it. Can't get it in front of the net. And it goes past Drew O'Neill. Back goes Blake Barnes. Drayson Campbell, both ends of the ice. Big playing. It's in this. And then there goes Reed Whitmarsh. They've done a change. Holden Petrie, Reed Whitmarsh are on right now. We've got an offsides, which will probably bring out Charlie McLaughlin as well with 3.32 left in the second period of play. Welcome to Julie Dolbear. Viewing from parts unknown, one nothing Mount Bridges leading your hometown heroes, Moortown, Junior Flags, novice rep team. Holdy Petrie takes it. He's on the near wing. He brings it in, carries, and throws it back across the ice off a skate. Nolan Bordage tries to get Reed Whitmarsh just almost there. Mount Bridges turns it the other way. Charlie McLaughlin, he's got that puck and he dives and gets a blade of his stick on it. Thrown across the ice by Mount Bridges. Braden Hogan provides some pressure. And Reed Whitmarsh tries to get it out to the line, not there. It goes into Charlie McLaughlin and not quite there. Back in toward the goalie, Gary Bennett. We're in on the near boards. Nolan Bordage provides some pressure, and they keep it tight in front of the net. Back to the blue line, but not out. Charlie McLaughlin goes again. Brandon Hogan, he's got it. He throws it up. Tipped by Holden Petrie, and it clears. As Mount Bridges is offsides, and they are still offsides. Still offsides. And Charlie has got a clear skate. Holden Petrie goes. He throws it back to Reed Whitmarsh. Back to Holden Petrie. Not quite there. Nice little idea there. Just didn't quite go as Nolan Burdage provides. Braden Hogan keeps on pressuring. one nothing with two minutes left in the third period of play. Now, Kaylor Brazil comes on. He's got Holden Petrie. He hits Holden Petrie. Mount, Mount Bridges steps in from the line. Tipped away. It, the puck strolls out to the blue line, but not out. Dave Rutley's joined us again as that puck is a bouncing. 30 seconds. In this second period, Moortown down by a couple. In, in this deep in the Moortown zone as Lucas Ross takes a look and goes. Can't quite clear it out. Trayson Campbell takes a swipe, nothing doing there. And that's the end of the second period of play. 
as we will get set for 15 minutes on the clock for the Welcome, Pauline. I believe joining us from Florida. Welcome. Bridges is up by a pair on Moortown Novice Rep. Plan to keep going right into this third period of play. They'll be attacking to the near net, defending the far net. There goes number 31, Gary Bennett, to his net. Played a good game so far. He's taken away a lot of shots from those pesky cougars. And we're underway with the line centered by Drew O'Neill. A far shot into the far, but nothing doing there. And Lucas Ross, he tries to dig that out. Drew O'Neill, he breaks out. He's skating hard. He keeps coming. Nolan Burdage. And that puck goes down all the way down the ice. That'll be an icing call on Mount Bridges. And a face off deep in the Mount Bridges zone. We'll see some changes here. McLaughlin centering this line. Holden Petrie on the far wing. Reed Whitmarsh on the near wing. Welcome back, Pauline, as we've got Blake Barnes on the far D and Drayson Campbell on the near D. Puck comes around these near boards. Drayson Campbell keeps it in. Pokes checks it up there to Reed Whitmarsh. The throw toward the net, and it's cleared out. Down the ice, the hands up for icing, but Blim Town Heroes. More. 13.35 left in the third period of play, 3-0. Grandma Pauline tuning in from Parts Unknown. On goes Blake Barnes. He keeps digging though, and that's a great job there. Keeps going. Holden Petrie keeps going. And Campbell gives chase. Mount Bridges throws it off the boards and back in deep. He throws it on side there, is the call from the referees. His grandma's watching from Florida and throws it in, and it's off a stick shaft and back in deep. Welcome here. And there's a player deep from Mount Bridges. They throw it across. Good job. Gary Bennett makes up first save, and the defenseman clears it away. Here comes Blake throwing it up, trying to get Austin Delgetti. Austin Del throws it in front through the blue ice. Can't get anybody there. Killer Brazil toe drags it, gets it around, tries to get to the center, throws it at the goalie, and it's off the blocker of the Mount Bridges goalie. We're under 12 minutes to go here in the third period of play as Austin Delgetti gets it on the near boards. It's a battle there and it gets out and it's going to be an offsides call. Not an offsides call, it's going to be a penalty call on Austin Delgetti. Two minutes for Austin Delgetti. A power play again for these Mountain Bridges Cougars. Eleven thirty-seven left in the third period of play, and Moortown's got to kill off this penalty and try to keep within three at this point. The puck goes down deep. Braden Hogan out there. Drew O'Neill, Nolan Bordage, Dougal Routley. That's our penalty kill at this point. Off. To Nolan Bordage. He's a wall there at center ice. Braden Hogan, he stops that flying in Cougar, and Braden takes it and looks, and he slaps it out past the Cougar and down the ice. Ten seconds left in the power play for Mountain Bridges. They are leading three to nothing here as we approach the 10:45 time in the third period. Drew takes and throws across to Caleb. Caleb, he tries to get free. Now Drew dives. Big effort happening with these boys. Braden Hogan provides some support. Nolan Burdage lays down, block. He cuts to the center, trying to get through. He's hauled down the call, but look at that great effort by Lucas Ross. 
Blake Barnes streaking in, kept that puck in there. And now Keller Brazil provides some support. That puck goes all the way down the ice, and it'll be uh, icing on Mount Bridges with 19 days. No penalties called on Mount Bridges. Highly unlikely town today. 9.56 left in the third period of play. Lucas Ross taking the draw. He's got Liam Hazard out there with him. Blake Barnes back on the point. Blake Barnes throws it in. On the boards, nothing doing there. Centered across the Hazard. Hazard can't quite get there. Hazard rubs the guy out. And they break out. Mount Bridges tries to bring it in. Oh! Grace on skating as we're nine minutes, 20 seconds left in this boards. Reed Whitmarsh going hard. Puck kept in by Drayson Campbell, back behind the net. Reed Whitmarsh takes a whack at it. He takes a swipe again. Off the boards, back to Drayson Campbell, backhand over to Holden Petrie. Holden Petrie, he provides pursuit. Puck, tic-tac off the skates. And Mount Bridges has three attacking going into that zone as Drayson Campbell comes up. Reed Whitmarsh takes and he throws across the... Holden Petrie. Holden Petrie takes it in. Throws it across to the net. It's in. Kayla Brazil hauled down in the far end. And look at that. We've got a penalty on Mount Bridges. This is truly remarkable. Seven minutes, 56 sec seven seconds left in the third period. They called a hook. But it would be true to form if no one went to the box for Mount Bridges. Continuing on the tradition that's been started. Two minutes, the power play for Moortown. Continue to battle. The line out there is the Rosillo line. That means he's got Dougal Routley with him. Austin Delgetti. On the back end, we've got Nolan throws it in. The Rosillo line stays out there after that. They'll be rewarded with a little more ice time with that. Job there, and Caleb takes, and he's going to skate. He goes around the outside. Like it's been signaled a goal. Five to one's the score. 6.36 left in the third period of play. We've got... The O'Neill line on now. That's Hazard out there with Lucas Ross. Bridges Cougar took it in, took a shot. Gary gets a pat from a teammate saying, Good job, Gary. Well done and well played. The forward line stays out. Nolan Bordage and Braden Hogan, they'll come out now. On D. We've got something happening. An interference call. Guess what? Mumford just got a penalty. You know, the referees are trying to even things up a little bit. Too late. Two minutes. As the O'Neill line stays out, the same skaters out here for Moortown. They tip it in. Braden Hogan takes it. Tips tipped out. Lucas Ross provides pursuit. Drew O'Neill takes a look. Welcome back, Hugh, as it's 5.31 left in the third period of play. 5-1. to one. Mount Bridges leading Moortown with 1 minute 27 seconds left in the power play for Moortown. The referees here have provided uh, many advantages for Mount Bridges, and they have capitalized as the McLaughlin line comes out.
Reed Whitmarsh on the near wing. Holden Petra on the far wing. We've got Blake Barnes and Drayson Campbell on the defense. Five minutes, six seconds left in this third period. As that puck comes up past Reed Whitmarsh, he provides pursuit. Drayson Campbell pops it forward. Goes out of the zone and Blake Barnes will turn around and go for a big stroll. He gets it, throws it back up, back and forth as Blake Barnes gets it again. He's been solid back there, folks. Let's see what happens there as it goes across to Drayson Campbell. He's going to tip it forward to Reed. It goes in, but not in deep. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in this third period. A power play here for Moortown. 20 seconds left on that power play. The pass goes in front to a Cougar. Holden Petrie takes it. He looks for a breakout here. He tries to tip it off the boards. Not much doing there. Moortown throws it at the net and it goes wide. And we've got Holden Petrie going to the box with under four minutes left here in the third period of play. Five to one. Mount Bridges leading your hometown heroes, Moortown Novice Rep Team. Out there, Braden Hogan, Nolan Burdage, and Austin Dalgetty. Puck squirts out. Braden Hogan taps it back into the Mount Bridges zone. Austin Dalgetty provides some annoyance to Mount Bridges. One minute, 30 seconds left in the penalty to Holden Petrie as. Nolan Burdage carries, and he throws it out to Dougal. Du Braden Hogan back, tripped up. 5-1, to one, Mount Bridges leading your hometown heroes, Moortown, with a minute left to the penalty for Holden Petrie. We got two Cougars streaking in. And they score 6-1. to one. With Drayson Campbell, Blake Barnes. Puck goes around the net there. Blake Barnes throws it up to Lucas Ross, who tips it. Blake Barnes looks, throws it up to Liam Hazard, just past the stick. 12.50 local time here in Moortown, Ontario, Canada, in the heart of St. Clair Township. Off the boards, and Dougal provides pursuit. So does Caleb. Caleb goes. He's got the puck on his stick. He keeps going with one minute left in the game. And that is what it won't be two minutes in the box is 58.2 seconds that are left on the clock. Charlie McLaughlin out there. Charlie McLaughlin at the blue line. Under 30 seconds. The boys keep on going for that. Seven at least. There's a debate happening. 7-1 is the final score here as Mount Bridges gets this one. A penalty filled affair, folks. On one side, and that'll be the end of that one, folks. We'll be back in action on Monday at Petrolia as we begin there.